I'm very excited to be here. It's been a whirlwind few days, but I'm here and I'm ready to play and ready to give everything for the team. You know, I spoke to Moisey over the phone while I was there and he just reassured me that, you know, it's probably the best place for me to come. I'm very happy coming here and signing and, you know, I'll be looking forward to getting going. All right, sound the emergency podcast clacks and big news. The news that every West Ham fan is was waiting for. Welcome to Ironcast. Welcome to West Ham United, Calvin Phillips. Welcome. Thank you very much. Round of applause. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Go. Ginge, how good? Yeah, it's brilliant. What a signing. Like so, you know, you're going to bring so much to the football club. Obviously, the way you play, you know, your range of passing. Top, top player. Obviously, being at a top club, playing with, you know, some of the world's best players. So, yeah, what a signing for for West Ham and, and our football club. Yeah. Calvin, I've just been watching you getting your uh, media shots in the kit. And I have to say, don't you think, like... You look good in a West Ham kit. Is that just me? Do you not think it just it <laughs> yeah, works? To be fair, it actually looks, <laughs> it looks good. But I think quite a lot of things I look good in anyway. So. Oh, nice, <laughs> like it, like it. But it's been a been a bit of a whirlwind couple of days for you. Like you say, being away with with City. Yeah. Um, but you're delighted to be sorted and settled in and getting ready to go. Yeah, I'm um, delighted. To be fair, um, I was in Abu Dhabi with City when a warm weather training camp, and all I could think about was you know getting alone sorted and um you know i spoke to moisey over the phone while i was there and he just reassured me that you know it's probably the best place for me to come um on loan here and you know i love every minute of it and every second and so far i have done already so yeah i'm very happy coming here and signing and um you know i'll be looking forward to getting going nice. yeah i mean um the rumours are you, there's been a few opportunities down the road for you to come to West Ham. It felt like something that was always going to happen. I don't know. Did you feel like that? You'd feel like it was West Ham were pulling you in? I, was, I think, honestly, I think if City wouldn't have come in for me 18 months ago, then West Ham had probably been the club that I'd have come to. So, so it was going to happen eventually. I think so. <laughs> I think, you know, it was always going to, it was always in the pipeline. Why is it? He's been after me for two years or so, he said to me on the phone. <laughs> so um, I think eventually it was always going to happen. Yeah. Nice. And you know, you know, a few of your now teammates, obviously Jared Bowen played, playing for England and mm -hmm. our, our former captain deck as well. So, and you've played at London Stadium. So how much do you know about West Ham? I know quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I know the song. <laughs> before the game. That's how you'd be off to a winner. Yeah. Um, I spoke to deck quite a bit about West Ham as well. And, um, not spoke to Jared or Ingsy or Prowse yet, um, but I'll see them tomorrow at training. So, yeah. Yeah. The the thing that West Ham fans that I speak to are really excited about is like, we've signed a current England international and West Ham fans will know you from your England performances. But Ginge, you might know Calvin from um, playing in the World Cup, where of course Wales were smashed 3-0 and Calvin played in that game. I mean, is there any Do need for that? <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about Calvin signing for West Ham, massive signing, you bring up Wales. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. <laughs> you probably watched that game. Or you, well, you might have tuned out. What, watched it from behind the sofa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Calvin, what does it mean to you to, to play for England? Like, what was it like play, pulling on that shirt for the first time? Yeah, it was an unbelievable feeling. Um, I can remember getting the call actually to say that I was getting my call up um, to England and I'd not even played a Prem, prem game by then and I remember being on the way to training in Leeds and um, Darth Southgate called me and I like kind of like Is this didn't answer, I looked at it and didn't answer for a couple of seconds and I answered and just normal conversation and he said oh um, we're going to include you in in the next international mm -hmm. uh, camp and I can remember just getting off the phone and just screaming to the top of my voice. No one else in the car on the motorway. That's people looking at me like, what's wrong with them? It's a, it's a special feeling. It obviously, yeah. as Chris has mentioned, played for Wales, you know, to get that call up and to play, represent your country. It's every young lad's dream, you know, to, to represent your country. It's, it's an incredible feeling. Yeah. Euro 2020 was where you kind of really established yourself as an England player. And I wondered, that tournament as a fan was just brilliant from an England perspective. What, what were your favourite bits as a player? What were the memories that stick out? I think for me, the call up was one of them, but the first game that we played was like the highlight because it was my first tournament game against a good Croatian side as well. And then I think just more and more things like as we progressed through, we had a little bit of a bad result against Scotland, well, a draw against Scotland, which, you know, 
kind of sent everyone into meltdown thinking that we weren't going to qualify. But then, um, but then as the games we played Germany, which was an unbelievable game. Oh man, I was there that day. Yeah. What an atmosphere. Uh, you know, it was like a third full or whatever yeah. it was. Incredible day. And it felt like just a little bit more than just a game because of all the history and stuff that we've had with them, you know, in past tournaments and stuff like that. And then we played Denmark um, where we went behind and showed, you know, good character to come back and we won it at the end. And then just the final. It was, I can remember the final, but the final is not the first thing that pops yeah. into my head. And, yeah. I know it probably should be because it was a massive game, but I'm just happy with the way that the tournament went. And I think, you know, any other day, if we played against that Italy side now, um, I think we'd wipe the floor of them. So. Yeah. 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 And then you were in the World Cup squad and now we're looking forward to the Euros mm -hmm. next summer. And it just feels like with England, it's, we've just been getting better and better and better and closer to winning something. How are you feeling coming into kind of the, looking ahead to the next tournament? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, you know, I've just seen how well all the other players are doing, you know, that have been recently called up and, you know, some of the main players in the team, like Harry Kane, he's been doing so well. Jude Bellingham, been doing so well. And, you know, Trent Alexander as well. And Phil Foden, who was at City. Um, it's just nice to see all the boys doing well and, you know, to see them doing well gives us real confidence going into a tournament because you know that, you know, they're going to be on fire by by the time we get going, so. Yeah. A former England man is uh, Jesse Lingard, who joined the club one January mm -hmm. and just tore it up through the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah. And actually, West Ham have got a bit of history of signing players in January who go on to do fantastically well. Jared Bowen, Thomas Suchek and other. So how are you feeling? You ready to be the next guy? I feel no it. No pressure. I hope I so. so. I, don't, I you just don't want to be jinxed. Guy, but, yeah, I hope so. Um, I'm looking forward to it very much. And I've obviously watched West Ham quite a lot over the past few years and you know i i seen the the loan spell of jesse and how well he did and um with jared as well so yeah i'm just very excited to be honest yeah and then i was try trying to figure it out last june while you were preparing for the champions league final west hammer of course yeah. winning the conference league mm -hmm. in prague did you watch it no i didn't the watch the game but i watched the celebrations <laughs> and i seen a lot of um videos of deck celebrating yeah. Uh, as you would, but um, now I was very happy for for Deck and um, and Jared as well. You know the great guys, and you know I speak to them quite a lot in England. So yeah. yeah, and obviously you've seen those scenes of celebration. Mm -hmm. I checked, and you are able to play in the Europa League this year, and yeah. obviously the yeah. finals in Dublin. I believe you've got a bit of Irish heritage as well. Yeah, so. yeah. So I, I mean, is it written <laughs> in the stars? Is this the next? Maybe it could be. Hopefully, <laughs> must be a big sign, and you don't normally do that much homework. <laughs> <laughs> you get that. Um, and then, obviously, I mean, if you've seen West Ham this season, we've got plenty of exciting players. There's, there's names after names, but mm -hmm. who are the ones you're looking forward to kind of seeing it up close in personal and training? Um, Paqueta. Yeah, yeah, I yeah he's, say that. he's been really good. Um, Kudos, and just like the I think everyone like because, you know, I've watched how well they've done this year. Mm -hmm. They've been doing really well this year. And um, I knew that, obviously, there was a possibility that I could be going to, you know, West Ham on loan. So, you know, I've just been excited to, you know, to meet everyone, really, and um, see everyone at face value and see how they are. But, but then, obviously, to play with them and, you know, to experience, you know, the next part of the season, hopefully a good one in Europe as well. So. Well, it's it's a great dressing room you're yeah. going into, and probably mm -hmm. probably spoke to Deck and, yeah. and boys, but it really is the lads we got there, and and the training ground is a really great. And we've spoke, I've spoke to people about you, saying mm -hmm. how good a lad you are. So I think it's going to be a perfect fit, mate. Everyone's super excited to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and number eleven. Was yeah. there any story behind that? Did you just pick it yourself? It's the only one that was left. Probably. <laughs> no, it probably, well, it was the only one that was left. But um, no, my baby, my baby boy. Was born in November, so had oh, to nice. say the number uh, eleven. Nice, nice touch. Yeah, and I'm, obviously, any fans who go on YouTube and watch some clips of your great goals will spot a few free kicks in there. How do you rate your chances of kicking JWP off the the free kick duties? There's no chance. There's <laughs> no <laughs> chance. He's, he's, he's just, come to the he's just too good. Any. He's just too <laughs> good. <laughs> and then looking ahead to what might be your debut, Bournemouth, I think, might possibly under mm -hmm. the lights here at the London Stadium. Are you excited about that? Yeah, yeah, I've looked at. Looked at the fixtures and then there's Bournemouth and then 
United mm. in Manchester, which will be good as well. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm ready and ready to go. I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, I've got a, a friend that plays in midfield for Bournemouth as well. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be looking forward to that game. Yeah, brilliant. All right, well, just to wrap up, What's your final message for the fans? They're all so excited. Mm. Every West Ham fan you speak to can't wait <laughs> to see you out there in the Claret and Blue. So what's your message? Um, just that I'm, you know, I'm very excited to be here. Um, it's been a whirlwind few days, but I'm here and I'm ready to play and ready to give everything for the team. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. What a time to be a hammer, Ginge. What a time. Exciting times, mate. Yeah. Exciting times. It's, it's, that's, it's, it's where the club's going, you know, sat, signing someone of... Calvin's sort of ability and and where he's been and and, and the exciting player he is, you know, it, it speaks volumes to the club. And you know, Calvin's obviously going to be a massive part of that with this, with hopefully, you know, looking second half of the season to a really exciting time for us. Brilliant. Best of luck, Calvin. You're going to smash you, it. I can luck, feel mate. it. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time on Ironcast. Until then, come on, you Irons. <laughs>